Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to solve some area and perimeter problems. And first, let's remind you about what is area, what is perimeter. Area had to do with covering and is always measured in squares of some size. For example, for this rectangle, I would try to draw squares inside it and count how many there are. And that would be the area. Perimeter meant the around measure. You go around the figure, and then what distance do you go? That's the perimeter. Okay? So for this rectangle here, if you start here and you go 7 meters, you go this way, it's 3 meters. You go this way, 7 meters. This way, 3 meters. So in total we have 10 and 10, 20 meters. Notice for perimeter, our unit here is meters. It is the same as what I have here for the side length. And then the area. If I were to divide this into three parts, three meters, and this one into seven parts, then I could draw here a grid and get all those squares, right? And that would be the area. Each square here would be one square meter. Area is measured in squares, and in this case it will be measured in square meters. And we can use multiplication to find the area. It will be 3 times 7. There will be 21 squares inside it. And they are square meters. Here I have a much more complex shape. And we're going to figure out its area and perimeter. Notice that some of the side lengths are not given here. There's this and this one that are missing. To find its area, we will divide it into rectangles. For example, I think the easiest way would be like this. Not the only way, but that's one way to divide it into rectangles. And then we figure out the areas of the rectangles. This one here is pretty easy. I can use multiplication. 10 feet times 5 feet. And so the area of this is 50 square feet. Okay. How about this rectangle? We don't know this side length. We don't know this one either. So let's go on, let's figure this one. This one has 5 feet and then 11 feet. So 5 times 11. 55. And then again, the unit is square feet. And now this rectangle. Notice we don't know this side length. Can you figure it out? Aha, Matty knows the answer already. We look at this one here, 12 feet, and this one here, 5. So this much is 5, and the 12, so this must be 7 feet, right? And then the other unknown side, this one. Can you figure that one out? Look here, 11 feet. And here, 6. So this must be 5. And then the area, 7 times 5 is 35, and then square feet. And now we can find the total area by adding 50 square feet plus 35 square feet plus 55 square feet. Okay, these two make 90 plus 50. So we get 140 square feet. And then the perimeter. For the perimeter, we just add all these side lengths. Are there any missing ones? Here's the 7 feet. How about this one here? That would be 5 feet. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Just go adding. Let's see if I start at this corner. 12 and 6 is 18, 23, 34, 46. Oh, this is still missing. Okay. Here we had 5 feet and 10 feet, so that is 5 feet too. So 46, 56, 66. What unit will we put for the perimeter? 66 what? It is feet, because we were adding all these feet. So it is a unit of length, 66 feet. Lastly, we have here a little bit of a puzzle. Math is getting excited. Well, it's not very difficult. Let's try. 
draw a rectangle with an area of 60 square units and a perimeter of 34 units. It has to have an area of 60 squares here and the perimeter has to be 34. Are you thinking? Math is thinking. Are you thinking? Think about numbers that when you multiply them you get 60, such as 6 times 10. If you had 6 times 10 rectangle, its area would be 60 square units. But would its perimeter be 34? 6 and 10. It means you would get 16, 16, you would get 32 as a perimeter, so that doesn't work. I'm just gonna tell you the answer, I hope you have figured it out. 5 times 12 should work, right? 5. 12. 5 plus 12 is 17, 17 and 17, 34. Okay, well done with this lesson.